Welcome to this captivating audiobook dedicated to the timeless and poetic world of William Shakespeare's sonnets. These enduring masterpieces of English literature, penned by the bard himself, have stood the test of time and continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, transcending centuries and cultures. Shakespeare's sonnets are a treasure trove of emotions, thoughts, and reflections that delve deep into the human soul. Comprising 154 sonnets, this collection explores themes of love, beauty, time, mortality, and the complexities of human relationships. They provide a profound glimpse into the complexities of the human experience, offering readers and listeners a mirror to their own innermost feelings and desires. The beauty of Shakespeare's sonnets lies not only in their lyrical language but also in their ability to evoke powerful emotions. Each sonnet is a miniature masterpiece, a carefully crafted expression of love, desire, jealousy, and the ever-elusive nature of time. As you listen to these sonnets, you'll find yourself transported to an era of eloquence and poetic brilliance, where words are woven into exquisite tapestries of meaning. Shakespeare's exploration of love is a central theme in these sonnets. From the ecstasy of passionate infatuation to the agony of unrequited love, his words resonate with the complexities and contradictions of the human heart. Whether you are a romantic at heart or a curious soul seeking to understand the depths of human emotions, these sonnets offer a profound and enriching experience. Moreover, the sheer diversity of Shakespeare's sonnets is astonishing. Some are addressed to a mysterious and captivating, dark lady, while others celebrate the beauty of a young man, and yet more contemplate the passage of time and the inevitability of death. This variety ensures that there is a sonnet for every mood every occasion, and every facet of the human experience. As you embark on this auditory journey through Shakespeare's sonnets, prepare to be enraptured by the eloquence of the language, the depth of the emotions, and the timeless relevance of these verses. Whether you are a Shakespearean scholar, a poetry enthusiast, or simply someone in search of beauty and wisdom in words, these sonnets are sure to captivate your heart and mind. So, sit back, relax, and let the mellifluous words of William Shakespeare transport you to a world where love, passion, and profound introspection intertwine, creating a symphony of emotions that will resonate with you long after the last sonnet has been spoken. Enjoy the journey into the enchanting realm of Shakespeare's sonnets. Here is the full verses of Shakespeare's sonnet number 21. So is it not with me as with that muse, listen also the summary and analysis of the sonnet. So is it not with me as with that muse stirred by a painted beauty to his verse, who heaven itself for ornament doth use, and every fair with his fair doth rehearse, making a couplement of proud compare, with sun and moon, with earth and seas rich gems, with April's firstborn flowers and all things rare, that heaven's air in this huge ronda hems, oh, let me, true in love, but truly right, and then believe me, my love is as fair, as any mother's child, though not so bright, as those gold candles fixed in heaven's air. Let them say more that like of hearsay well. I will not praise that purpose not to sell. Summary Sonnet 21 addresses the theme of poetic inspiration and the speaker's approach to writing poetry. The poem begins by comparing the speaker's poetic inspiration to that of another poet, referred to as, that muse, who is inspired by a superficial, painted beauty. This other poet writes about heavenly and earthly beauties, making extravagant comparisons between them. In contrast, the speaker desires to write truly and sincerely about his own love, without resorting to excessive flattery or artificial comparisons. The sonnet asserts that the speaker's love may not be as bright or heavenly as others' descriptions, but it is genuine and heartfelt. The poem concludes by expressing the speaker's refusal to praise or write insincere poetry for the sake of popularity or profit. Analysis Comparison to another muse, the sonnet begins by comparing the speaker's approach to poetry with that of another poet who is inspired by a superficial, painted beauty. This comparison sets up the contrast between genuine love and insincere flattery in poetry. Extravagant Comparisons the other poet's work is described as making extravagant comparisons between heaven, earth, and various forms of beauty. These comparisons are used to create elaborate verses. Sincere Love The speaker expresses a desire to write truly and sincerely about his own love, without relying on artificial comparisons. The focus is on genuine emotion and authenticity in his poetry. Modesty 
The sonnet acknowledges that the speaker's love may not be as bright or heavenly as others' descriptions. It embraces a sense of modesty and realism. Refusal to praise insincerely. The poem concludes by asserting the speaker's refusal to praise or write insincere poetry simply to gain popularity or profit. This refusal reflects a commitment to integrity in writing. Rhyme Scheme Sonnet 21 follows the traditional Shakespearean, or English, sonnet rhyme scheme, consisting of three quatrains, four line sections, followed by a rhymed couplet two lines. This structure allows for the development of the theme and argument in a systematic way. Themes The primary themes of Sonnet 21 include the sincerity of love and poetry, the contrast between genuine emotion and artificial flattery, and the commitment to writing with integrity. In conclusion, Sonnet 21 explores the idea of genuine love and authentic poetry. It criticizes the practice of using extravagant comparisons and insincere flattery in verse and asserts the value of writing from the heart. The poem emphasizes the speaker's commitment to writing with sincerity and integrity, even if it means not gaining the approval of those who prefer hearsay and artificial praise.